Hello everyone and welcome back to John's Food Review. Today we're going to be trying some Ferrero Rocher. I saw these. I've had the original ones before, but these two I've never had. So it says fine, as, uh, fine assorted confections, but there's only three flavors, and they're you know you can see them on the back. I wouldn't so I wouldn't say assorted, you know, because like assorted would be like. Uh, you know, this is that one, that's that one, and then, like, these two would be something different. That's assorted. But having this entire middle part as that, just, like, the original, and that that's, I, I don't consider that assorted. Um, okay, it's right there. So, I've never had the ones on the side before. I've had the, um, the originals, and they're okay. So, I do like the casing that they're in. Try not to. Okay, oops. So, it is like just one solid. It's actually pretty nifty. Smell them through the, um, the, uh, little foil. Make it like the commercial. No, I'm not for you that. I mean, it's pretty good. I'm not. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not much of a hazelnut person. I, I don't mind it, but it's like, like Nutella. That shit's disgusting. Ugh. I'm trying to cleanse the palate because it's all like hazelnut stuff, so. I'm doing this one. Oh. Raffaello. 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 I also like how, like, it's like, you know, the little paper part is, like, attached to the foil, so it just comes off of, like, one piece, almost, or supposed to, at least. This part doesn't want to. This one's, like, wrapped up. Like, it's actually inside, so you gotta actually tear it like a regular candy. Oh, is that coconut? Oh, this should be. Yeah, it's. You know, you can put a lime in this. Oh, wow. That's really soft. Oh, my God. There's so much going on. So the original was good. That was even better. So you have like the, the hazelnut crunch. You've got like this really soft outer part. You got, you know, the little crunchy bit, you know, the, the outside of coconut. And then there's like this, like, uh, in the middle, like, a. it's not a mousse, but some kind of filling in the middle. It all works together. The people who who don't know, I'm very, like, when it comes to food, I'm very textural. You know, I don't like the same texture. So having, so if something soft, you know, adding some kind of crunch to it. So, like, if I make macaroni and cheese, right, I'll add something crunchy to it. You know, like, you know, crush up some chips or something just to add some textural difference. Because I don't like everything the same texture. Like, if I have a burger or a hot dog or this or that. Uh, I have to add something crunchy because, like, the meat will be, you know, the meat soft, the bun is soft. Um, so I just, I need textural difference. So this, very texturally uh, pleasing. There's so many different textures going on. Uh. 
I do love coconut though. I love coconut. Really, coconut is really, really good. So I'm. I was actually surprised. I didn't. I thought it was gonna be like a freaking white chocolate kind of thing. Like no, it was coconut. This is the one I was looking forward to because whenever I see stuff like this, I always associate it like with dark chocolate or something like that. So. I mean, it's one of these where you have to, it's like a budding flower. It opens up, you close it, and that's, you actually have to, you know, tear into it. Oh, my God. Okay, so it's got like these little tiny chocolate beads on it. Trying to... Because oh. this one's interesting. It's like little chocolate caviar. Come on, focus, focus, focus. Come on. It never wants to focus when I want it to. But you can see the textural difference. And then it's got like a little tiny thing of chocolate on top. Smells good. Hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, that's good. It starts off with, like with a wafery, like a wafer taste, but then it goes to like this really nice chocolate. Not dark chocolate. It's still just as good, though. That is really good. So, yeah, the original comes dead last. <laughs> I don't know which one I liked more, though. The chocolate one or the coconut? Because I do love me some chocolate, but that coconut one, though. That is really good. And then, I didn't show it off. This is the original. So, like, a little cluster of... But here's kind of the inside. Oh, you top of the morning to you. It's really good. But, I mean, not as good as the other two. Yeah, so it's got like that hazelnut filling, which, like I said, hazelnut, I don't like on its own, even with, you know, toast or whatever you put hazelnut on. I'm just, I, I like, like Nutella, I just, I don't like it. You know, it has to have some kind of, you know, coconut, but well, that one was really good. But hazelnut on it, it's just, I can't do it. It just, it's gross. Keep in mind, this was filled up before I started. Look how much I had to drink already. Yeah, Nutella, it's... Same thing with those, um... What were they? They, uh... Hazelnut M&Ms? Those things are disgusting. Like, I, I don't get people's fascination with, like, hazelnut, like, Nutella-type hazelnut. It's just... Those things, they're freaking gross. They're so gross. Um, but these are good. I mean, I think this whole thing originally was like $5 or $4, but then it was like, however many, how much percent off. So that's what I like about after the holidays, you get all this, re the really, really good stuff on the cheap because, you know, it's for Christmas. No, it's no longer Christmas. So, but yeah. Yeah, I also like, like I said, I like the case. You know, you could, after you're done, you can just take the middle part out and use it for something else. It's a really good case. Oh, wait, or is it? Let's look right here. Okay. And then I saw another one. 
Is it actually? Oh, no, it is actually two separate pieces. I thought it was just like some little shoddy type pl uh, plastic on the bottom right there, but it was actually tape. I mean, it's still, you can still use it. I mean, it just, it was cooler thinking it was just one piece and it just folded, but it's just tape. How disappointing. Women can like put makeup in this. Men can put their makeup in this. Works out for everyone. But um so the coconut one probably so it'd be I think the chocolate one was the best. Then the coconut, then another one, and then the other one, and then like the the original comes last. It's like what were those other two? I don't know. I'm just thinking those whatever they would be would be better than those. But yeah, I thought the the coconut one was like a vanilla, not a vanilla, but um, a a white chocolate. I'm like, Ugh. I'm not very fond of white chocolate either. But but pleasantly surprised it was coke, the coconut with the lime and the coconut. Um, infections. Okay, so it actually is dark chocolate. There are so many other, uh, you know, flavors. Fine dark chocolate provides a sim symphony of sensations with a crisp wafer surrounding creamy chocolatey filling with a dark chocolate pearl at the center. Including white Californian almonds and coconut from the Pacific Island. <laughs> it's a sheer delicate pleasure. Uh, okay, so I because when I first but bit it, like when I first started eating it, it did taste like dark chocolate. But then at the end, it's like it just you know it doesn't taste so much like dark chocolate. Maybe it was just the initial, but no, it, it is dark chocolate. Soy. No. Uh, made in Germany. Made in Germany. Made in Poland. <laughs> okay. April 3rd, 2023. Please store in a cool, dry place at a temperature of 65 degrees to 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. About five servings. Each serving is about three pieces. So you got one, two, three, four, five. You got that your five servings right there. So three pieces. Which is kind of dumb. They could have no. What they should have done is have one row of the chocolate, one row of the original, and one row of that. But instead, they do this stupid crap of have all these and then just like three of those. That's so stupid. Why <laughs> not just like make one row of each? Like, come on, man. But. Anyways, if you see them, pick them up, especially if they have the um, the chocolate and uh, coconut ones. But uh, yeah, they're pretty good. Anyway, that's going to do it for me. You guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.